I'm Ruby. And I'm Pascal. And that's Dylan over there. Hello. We're close friends with Nancy Drew's robot puppy. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks for the reminder, robot puppy. Dylan, you had a question for us, didn't you? That's right, I did. I was wondering if coding, at least the kind we know, could have existed before computers. As a matter of fact, it did. But to get a better idea of what that was like, we'll have to get a closer look at the person many consider to be the very first super coder. Let's investigate. Here are the clues we have to work with. She was born December 10th, 1815, over 200 years ago. Her mother insisted that she be specially taught in math and science. That may seem pretty normal to us, but for a young girl like her at the time, that was very unusual. One of her lifelong friends and mentors was Charles Babbage, now known as the father of the computer. And this supercoder is referred to as the first computer programmer. But how is that possible? They didn't have computers like us back then. That's true. But she didn't do her coding on a computer. She did it using her brain. In 1834, Charles Babbage came up with the plans for what he called the analytical engine. If it had been completely built, it would have been able to do several of the things that computers can do today. An article was written about the machine by Italian engineer and mathematician Luigi Minabria, which our supercoder translated from French into English. And not only did she translate it, but she also added her own notes to it that were three times longer than the original article. In her notes, she described how the machine could do things like perform math problems, and she even predicted that it could generate music. But that kind of thing wouldn't be around for another hundred years or so. People must have thought she was super smart. Or super crazy. Actually, for a long time, neither happened. When she finally published her notes, people didn't pay much attention. It wasn't until years and years and years later when technology had a chance to catch up that her work was rediscovered. Today, she has been given credit for her work and she has received many honors. She has a day named after her and even a coding language, Ada, which is used for planes, trains, and medical devices. So what's next? After some investigating, it looks like this supercoder is Ada Lovelace. Wow, we did it! Way to go, supercoders! Let's recap. Ada Lovelace is considered to be the first programmer and supercoder. In her work, she showed what coding looks like and what it could be used for. Today, her efforts have been recognized and many of her predictions have come true. So what do you think? Does that answer your question, Dylan? Yep, except now I have another one. So Ada Lovelace predicted the first computer could make music, right? But what does that look like? How can computers be used to make music? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Want to help Nancy and become a super coder? Head over to the Apple, Google Play, and Amazon app stores and find out more today.